Lately, several studies have focused fresh attention on epigenetics. The word epigenetic literally means in addition to changes in DNA genetic sequence. Epigenetic is the study of biological mechanisms that will turn genes on and off. Only 10% of our DNA is being used for building proteins. The other 90% are considered junk DNA. The Russian researches joined linguists and genetics in a venture to explore those 90% of junk DNA. According to them, the genetic code in the apparently useless 90% follows the same rules as all our human languages. So human languages did not appear coincidentally, but are a reflection of our inherent DNA. The Russian biophysicist and molecular biologist Pyotr Gadyayev and his colleagues also explored the vibrational behavior of the DNA. They said that living DNA substance will always react to language, modulated laser rays, and even to radio waves. If the proper frequencies are being used, it is entirely normal and natural for our DNA to react to languages. Now it has been proved that our body is programmable by language, words and thoughts. What if Darwin's theory of evolution as most of us learned it at school is in crucial respects not entirely accurate let's go back in time where the vedic knowledge was spread all over the world had the vedics any thoughts about the dna in our body and could that be changed in a positive way? The answer is given by the only real Vedic master, Prashant Trivedi, named as the Piti Avatar, the Guru of Gurus. The DNA in our body is the tool which we can use to shoot our spirit at faster than light speed. In simple layman terms, body is like a bow and spirit is like the arrow. So you shoot the arrow from the bow, which is the body. So for that, one has to prepare one's body to be able to do that. One has to prepare one's DNA to be able to do that. If uh, somebody says like, uh, uh, like we don't know uh, what is uh, happening with my DNA, that's not true. Like one can scientifically actually measure what's happening with your DNA. So, uh, like DNA is a spiral, like like a spiral like this. And if DNA turns into a like if you braid it, you know, like the way you braid women's braid their hair, you know, like they knot the hair. And the same way the DNA is like a spiral, slinky. And if you no keep on knotting it, and it actually becomes more and more knotted, and it actually starts turning. Even if you braid the hair too much, it starts turning, and then finally it will become a circle. If you keep on knotting it more and more and more more and it'll become a ring so it'll become a ring like this so it'll become ring dna from helical dna it'll become ring dna and then when these dna that things sit on top of each other rings 
then your spirit can actually travel through this wormhole which these rings form to faster than speed of light and speed of light is the limit of the 3d world so once you are going faster than speed of light then you are getting out of the 3d matrix fritz albert pop a german biophysicist found that biophotons, which are light speed mechanisms, may represent a wide variety of frequencies which originate and are concentrated in DNA. And the DNA has the ability to create photons in a coherent state. Quantum coherence means that particles create waves which are highly interlinked by bands of electromagnetic fields and are synchronized with the same frequency vibratory rate. So we can use the coherent light to communicate with our DNA. Prashant Trivedi says that your spirit is your level of internal coherence. He defines divine as perfect complete fractality, as diverse branching in phi golden ratio, and as perfect coherence. PT says that anyone can increase one's level of internal coherence by doing the proper actions. Ressa Bullard, a physicist, says that our DNA responds to the words we speak. Every word we speak goes into the all levels of the DNA's system. That is why the frame of the words is very important. That is why words have strong effects on the body. That is why by words we can get hurt or get joy. We can influence our DNA through our words and actions if we give the right information to our DNA in our body that message will be transmitted to the rest of our DNA at light speed DNA can be influenced and reprogrammed by words proper frequencies and sounds or by golden ratio harmonics. Epigenetic science reveals that DNA responds to our actions, attention, behavior, and we have the power to change our DNA if we choose to. The segment of the known coding DNA responds to the right frequency of light and language. And that is the ability to communicate with our DNA and to wake it up. But how to awaken its potential? How can we bring the spark? to activate the codes in our DNA, in our genes, how to find a state of coherence. How can we access the on and off switches for the genetic code? Scientists are desperately in need to find the famous state of coherence. The genes are indeed not our destiny. The knowledge for bringing the spark to activate the codes in our DNA lies inside the Vedic knowledge. 
Teresa says that when holy words are spoken correctly, we can bring the spark to activate the codes in our DNA or genes. But what kind of holy words exactly? The Vedic master Prasham Trivedi explains the truth in a crystal clarity. He says that your DNA get tinkles only when you speak out from the center of your mouth pure principles or when you praise higher and divine. Yes, when you do praise, like for example, O oh divine, you are kindness, peace, beauty, truth, the absolute, etc. And not pray like, O oh divine, I need this or that like we usually do. To praise properly, you have to know the qualities of higher and divine, which are absolutely infinite. <laughs> so, you articulate these qualities by your understanding and repeat them in your own language. That is your real mantra. People nowadays have practice on praising people with money who are devolving or celebrities which have big problems. Praising lower beings takes one lower. Praising higher beings or divine takes you higher. It evolves you. Have only imams or priests the right to evolve? What about us, others? Pure principles are principles of nature and multiverse, which are real and will always be true. They will never change. The multiverse laws have not so much to do with the nowadays human-made laws. The multiversal pure laws can only be found in the Vedic knowledge and are very simply revealed in the book of Prashant Trivedi with the title Peace Gita Scriptures for the Now. Some of these timeless pure principles are Actions do have consequences. If you disrespect nature, you will lose your senses. No being can own an other being. Your body is your only ownership, etc. Prashant Trivedi mentions the importance of bowing and having the proper posture. In his book and in many of his videos, he speaks about the law of PBS, praise, bow, and service to higher and divine. The right, correct and proper action is doing PBS to higher and divine, which is accessible to anyone, doesn't require any special skill or knowledge, just a desire to evolve. The PBS is the real answer to our scientists on achieving the proper coherent state. 
Only PBS can program our DNA to a better and evolved state. Knowledge is something that you put into practice to do good for you and raise yourself and raise your internal coherence. Otherwise, it's just information. You are the creator of your own destiny through your own actions.